Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing circular team member card with border animation, as you can see. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to create something that looks beautiful like this. And then when you hover, you can see this wonderful animation. You hover here, you see this wonderful animation as well. And if you hover here, you see this wonderful animation as well. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. All right, so in our Elementor editing screen, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this plus icon here and select the flexible container. And I'll select this structure here. Now I'm going to come over to the content width and set it to full width. And then for the minimal, I'll change the unit from pixel to BH and give it a value of 100. Then I'm going to come over here, justify content to the center and align item to the center as well. Then I'll head over to the style option. Now for the background type, I'm going to set it to classic and give it a background color of Okay, then I'm going to come over here to the advanced settings. Now for the pattern, I'm going to unlink this. To the top, I'm going to give it a value of 100. To the bottom, 100 as well. Okay, now I'm going to come over here, click on this plus icon and select another container. Now for this container here, I'm going to call this one our parent container. Then I'm going to call this container our wrapper. Okay, now for the wrapper container, I'm going to come over here, change the content width to full width. And then for the width, I'm going to change the uniform percentage to pixel and give it a value of 350 pixel and a minimal height of 350 pixel. Then I'm going to come over here to the uh, additional option and I'm going to set the overflow to hidden. Okay. Then I'll go to the style option for the background type. I'm going to set it to classic and then give it a background color. This time around, instead of the hexa color, I'm going to use the RGB color. Now for the first value, we're going to set it to zero the second value zero the third value zero and the fourth value we're going to set it to 0 0.5 okay now i'm going to come down here to the border now, for the border i'm going to change the border radius unit from pixel to percentage and then give it a value of 50 percent so when i have a perfect circle like what we can see here and then I'm going to come over here, click on this plus icon here and add another container. Now for this container, I'm going to call it the content. Now for this content container, I'm going to come over here for the width. I'm going to change the unit from percentage to pixel and give it a value of 300 and then a minimal height value of 300. Then I'm going to come over here for the item direction I'll make sure I set it to column vertical. And then for the justify content, set it to the center and align item to the center. Then for the gaps, I'm going to set it to 10 pixel. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the style option. For the style option here, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come over to the border. And then I'm going to give it a border radius of 50%. Uh, so I'm going to change the unit from pixel to percentage and then give it a value of 50%. Okay. Now that I've done that, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the advanced settings. Come down here to where we have the position and set the position to absolute. Okay. Now for the offset, horizontal orientation offset, I'm going to give it a value of 25 pixel. And then for the vertical orientation offset, I'm going to give it a value of 25 pixel as well. Okay. And then I've done that. The next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come over to where we have the Z index. And then I'm going to give you the Z index value of three. Okay. Now I'm going to click on this plus icon and then I'm going to select the image widget. Now I'm going to come over to our image, our media library, and then I'm going to select an image from here. So we're going to select uh, this image here. Okay. And then we're going to come to the style option. Now for the width, we're going to set the width to 100%. And for the height, we're going to change the unit from pixel to percentage and then give it a value of 100. For the object fit, we're going to set it to cover. And then object position, we're going to leave it as center center. Now we're going to come over to the border radius, change the border radius unit from pixel to percentage and give it a value of 50%. Now we now have this perfect circle here. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do here is um, we're just going to come over to the advanced settings. And then for the image, we're going to give it a Z index of three, same as that of the content container. Okay. Then we're going to go over here and then come here and select our heading widget and drop it right below the image widget. Now we won't be able to see the heading widget. So in order for us to be able to see the heading widget, I'm just going to turn off 
this image widget here. So we can be seeing the heading widget as we work on it. Now we're going to change the text here to John Doe. And then we're going to come over to the style option and tweak it a little bit. For the text color, we're going to change it to white. Typography, we're going to come over here. And for the font size, we're going to change it from pixel to EM and then give it a value of 2. Now for the font family, we're going to leave it at default. Now for the font width, we're going to come over here and give it a value of 600 semi bold. Then I'm going to come over here and duplicate this. Okay, now for the second one, I'm going to come over to the HTML tag, change, the H, change it from H2 to H3, then head over to the style option. Now for the typography here, I'm going to come over here and for the font size, I'm going to give it a value of 1.2. Okay, and then I'm going to come over to the weight and I'm going to set the weight to 400 normal. Then I'll go to the content and change this text here to web developer. Okay, and then I've done that. The next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to come over to the widget area and select the button widget. Now for the button text here, I'm going to change it to contact me. Then I'll go to the style option. I'll tweak it a little bit. Now for the typography here, we're going to leave the font size as default. But for the later spacing, we're going to give it a value of pixel then i'm going to come over here for the text color i've set it to black for the background color i'm going to set it to white text color i'm going to set it to black okay then we're going to come over to the border ranges and give it a value of 30 pixel all around okay now we'll go to the hover and give it a hover animation which is the grow so now our we'll hover will now have this all right so now i'm going to go to the advanced settings for the margin, I'm going to link this to the top. I'm going to give you the margin of 10 pixel to the top. Okay. So now we are done adding all the various content here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here and turn on the image. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do here is uh, we're going to add the CSS class to all the container and the, the appropriate widget. So I'm going to come over to the wrapper. We head over to the advanced settings and then we will have the CSS class and I'll give it the value of wrapper. Then I'm going to come over to the content, head over to the advanced settings. We will have the CSS class and I'm going to give it the value content. Okay. Then for the image, I'm going to come over here to the advanced settings, CSS class. I'm going to give it the value of IMGG. Okay. Now we've added the various classes, CSS classes to the appropriate widget, uh, container and widget. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the parent container. Now, under the parent container, we want to go over to where we have the custom CSS. Mind you, this feature is only available on Elementor Pro. So if you don't have the Elementor Pro, there's a link in the description of this video where you can get the Elementor Pro. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here. This is where we're going to add our CSS code. So I'm going to head over to my VS Code editor. We have already written down the code here. So I'm just going to copy out this code and head back and then I'll paste the code here. Okay. So you can see now our effect have taken place immediately. So now when you hover, we now have this with this button animation here. When you hover, you now have this wonderful effect here. Okay. So the next thing we can do here, we can change for the responsiveness of this. So we'll come over here. Now it looks great here, but what we're going to do here is we're just going to come over to the parent container here and then we're going to go to the layout and make sure we set the wrap here set it to wrap okay then we're going to come over to the mobile now for the mobile we can see it's distorted here however to fix it all we just need to do is come over to the wrapper come over to the layout now for the wrapper we're going to change the width to 300 pixel and then for the minimal height we're going to change it to 300 pixel now we're going to come over to the content. Now for the content, we're going to come over to the layout. Uh, we're going to change the width for the content to 250 and then the height to 250. And we we'll successfully fix that. So when you hover, you now have this wonderful effect as well. Okay. So now we are done make, setting the responsiveness of our design. Mind you, hover effect doesn't really work on mobile, but the design looks great on mobile, so we're just going to leave it as, it as is. Then I'm going to come over here to our desktop view. What I'm going to do next is I'm just going to duplicate the wrapper. Duplicate it again. Okay. 
Now for the middle wrapper here, we're going to come over here and change the image. So we can change the image to this lady here. And then come over to the heading text. We can change the name to Jane Al. Jane Al Dome. Okay. And then we'll come over here to the uh, designation and give it, give her the designation of UI UX designer. Okay. So now we're over, we see Jane Dole, UI UX designer. And then we're going to come over to the third container here. And then for the content, we're going to change the image here to another image. Let's select another image. Let's see uh, this image here. And then for the heading, we're going to call him Peter Brown. And then for the designation, we're going to give him Let's see how uh, we're designer. Okay, so now we are done. And when you hover here, you have this wonderful effect John Do Web Developer. Contact me. We have this Jane and Do. You are your designer. Contact me. Um, Peter Brown, web designer. Contact me. So that is pretty much it about this tutorial. I will can check for the responsiveness. You can see how it looks on tablet and then on mobile as well looks great on mobile as well okay so that's pretty much it about this tutorial and so we've come to the end of this tutorial if you've learned something new from this tutorial please remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to our channel please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when as i drop a new video and also feel free to drop your comment where you're confused or have a question i'll do well to attend to as much as i can well until then see you on our next video Bye-bye.